video is going to look at making equivalent fractions. So first, we're going to define what an equivalent fraction is. So equivalent fractions represent the same part of a whole. So in our example here, we've got two hexagons shown, and we've got the same part of the whole shaded. So in the first one, we have one half shaded, and our second hexagon is broken up into six pieces instead of into halves, and we've got three of those pieces shaded. So these fractions can be said to be equivalent because the same part of the whole is shaded. Okay, so we can say that one half is equivalent to or equal to three sixths. So we're gonna look at how to make our own equivalent fractions. So to write equivalent fractions, we can multiply or divide the numerator and denominator by the same factor. Okay, so if we look at the fractions we've got here, we can use the same factor on the numerator and denominator and we'll create an equivalent fraction. So for the first one, I'm going to multiply it by a factor of 3. So I will create a fraction, an equivalent fraction. So 1 times 3 gives me 3. 2 times 3 gives me 6. Okay, so 3 6. So we can say that 1 half is equivalent to 3 6. Okay, we could multiply by 5. So 1 times 5 gives me 5, and 2 times 5 gives me 10. Okay, so we can say that 1 half is equivalent to 5 tenths. And for this one, let's multiply by 4. So 1 times 4 gives us 4, 2 times 4 gives us 8. So we can say that 1 half is equivalent to 4 eighths. Now, for each one of those, we are multiplying by a factor. We can also divide by a factor to create an equivalent fraction. So over here, I've got some examples where we could divide. So for the first one, we have 8 tenths. Um, we could divide them both by 2. Okay, so let's try dividing by 2. I know they're divisible by 2 because they're both even numbers. So 8 divided by 2 would give us 4, and 10 divided by 2 would give us 5. Okay, so 4 fifths. So we can say that 8 tenths is equivalent to 4 fifths. The next one here, we've got 16 twentieths. So we could divide by 2. We can also see if we can divide by something bigger. So knowing my multiples and factors, I can see that 16 and 20 are both multiples of 4. Okay, so I should be able to divide by 4. 16 divided by 4 gives me 4. 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. So 16 twentieths is equivalent to 4 fifths, which means that 16 twentieths is also equivalent to 8 tenths. Okay, if they're both equivalent to or equal to 4 fifths, then they must be equivalent to each other. And our last example here, we've got 3 27ths. So I can divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 gives me 1, and 27 divided by 3 gives me 9. So 3 27ths is equivalent to 1 9th.